Due to social media and peer pressure, a lot of people have been living beyond their means. And when we talk of living beyond your means, it simply means spending more than you earn or buying things you can't really afford. And the thing is, a lot of people spend unnecessarily just to feel important and impress people. And the irony is, most times, those people are even too busy with their own lives and troubles to even notice what you are brandishing. So we've started a new year goal getter and I would love you to please take out time after watching this video to review your financial situation and make changes where necessary. This is because as you know, we are goal getters and we've got a mission ahead of us which is to attain financial freedom and as well help Africa as a whole. And we can't do that without disciplining ourselves first. There are lots of profitable business ideas that we've shared on here and some of you have loved them complaining that you can't afford them. But do you know that if you just review your expenses and spend right, you could actually save up enough money to start some of those businesses. Because when it comes to spending, at times we are very impulsive and spend without budgeting. And such expenses easily go unnoticed, thereby affecting our financial situation as a whole. So this video should serve as a retrospective one. Just go through these points with me and examine your financial situation simultaneously. So here are five things that if you notice in your lifestyle, know that you are living beyond your means and try as much as possible to remedy it. If you find yourself in this situation, please don't panic for I am going to be telling you exactly how to get out of that situation as soon as possible. My name is Elvin Jig and my mission on the channel is to make sure that you attain your financial independence as soon as possible. You are watching Africa Today and we are starting right now. So the first thing that if you notice in your financial situation will indicate to you that you are living beyond your means is if you don't have any savings or your savings are stagnant. This is otherwise known as the savings. You can't be projecting to own a business in future without saving up for your project, all right? So examine yourself and check if you are saving enough. Has your savings been increasing for at least 30% every year or are your savings so stagnant or below 5% of your yearly income. If you find yourself in a situation that you save less than 5% of your income, my goal getter, you are definitely living beyond your means. And hey, please don't be confused. There's a big difference between living beyond your means and living a good life, all right? Because most times some people think that when you say that they are living beyond their means, that means you are implying that they can't afford the lifestyle they are living. Living. No, that's not the point, all right? You could actually spend as much as you want, but in relation to what you earn, all right? Let's say someone who earns $2,000 is renting an apartment of $500 and you are earning maybe $1,000 and you go ahead to rent an apartment of the same $500, all right? That's what we mean by spending beyond your means because if you go already to spend $500, which is half of your income on rent, how are you going to be sustaining the other bills and other responsibilities you have. For someone like you, an apartment of $150 to at most $200 would be perfect. So that leads us to the next point, which is budgeting. If you don't budget before spending, you are doomed to fail. This is something I also battled with, honestly, because I used to just spend impulsively without thinking or without prior budgeting, and it actually took it all on me, and I had to learn the hard way. You know, the advantages of budgeting is that once you budget before spending, it enables you to maintain your expenses within the boundaries of what are important before any other thing that has to do with your entertainment or whatever thing. Budgeting also helps you track your expenses, all right? You can draft what I always call a scale of preference to spend according to the most important things on your list, all right? And also, when you take time to budget your finances, it helps you know exactly what you can afford and what you can't afford afford because you don't just improvise and buy something that wasn't planned. That leads us to the next thing which is actually your housing or rent. Look at your expenses. If a big share of your income actually goes to your housing, then you are definitely living beyond your means, all right? When it comes to housing, the most important is to get a roof over your head, right? Therefore, implying that any other luxury you could be looking off when it comes to housing is just a plus but not a 
necessity, all right? That said, you should have at the back of your mind that your rent shouldn't exceed 20 to 30 percent of your income. The next thing that is very dangerous if you are doing and that indicates that you are living beyond your means is if you don't have any emergency fund somewhere. When it comes to this point, even if you don't have an entrepreneurial spirit or you don't want to invest in any business in the future, just for the fact that you are a responsible individual, you need to have an emergency fund somewhere for rainy days. We don't wish for bad things to happen, but hey, life happens, all right? And you need to be prepared for those rainy days. If you've got kids, there are moments that kids will obviously get sick, so you need to set aside something for illnesses, housing problems because something could happen and you have to relocate, or your family could get bigger and you need a bigger house. You can also face unfortunate situations like job loss. Yeah, you could be fired from your current employment and you would need something to live on while searching for another job, right? So in such instances, the emergency fund you set aside some where plays a big role for you to still manage to live a decent life while searching for another job. And you know in this economy at times, getting another job is never easy. It could take at times three to six to even a year without securing a new job. You know how our African countries are. And that's why I always encourage people to make sure they invest in at least something that could permit them to earn extra cash aside from their main job, all right? We are thereby talking of side hustles. It's very important to always have a side hustle alongside what you are doing all right here i am seated i have a nine to five job i have youtube i have other businesses i have my plantation that i talked to you guys about and my organic shop that i am working on currently that i told you guys about in one of my videos and also of the numerous real estate demands that i get on daily basis and many more all right and you might be wondering how i am coping with all this all right there is a way i delegate people all right i take one step at a time i never embark on two businesses at the same time no i always embark on one and when i feel it's stable i then delegate to another person or other people and i am equally a translator online i'm a trained translator and i do freelance translation online so if you didn't know i'm equally on linkedin and i translate for people from my source language french to english as a target language or vice versa yeah i am literally selling my market all right yeah i am selling my market so if you've got any translation you want to be done from English to French or from French to English or you've got a relative who is looking for a translator, please do well to hit me up, all right? So like I said, I encourage you to always get a side hustle. I can't give all the details in this video because it doesn't really fit into this topic and I don't want this video to be too long. But then I am going to make a video someday where I am giving you details on how to go about many businesses. The next way you could know that you are living beyond your means is if you are constantly indebting yourself yeah if you are constantly accumulating more and more debts that definitely means you are living beyond your means and you need to do something about it as soon as possible what i will tell you is avoid pressuring yourself all right try as much as possible to live within your means if you can't afford something it's no big deal if you can't afford it today you could be capable of affording it tomorrow if you work harder or smarter all right every good thing takes time in life we need to learn how to take a step at a time learn to be content with what you have a lot of people spend unnecessarily on things that aren't even actually important and I have noticed that most people who do too much to appear in a certain way are actually very far from what they are struggling to portray. But those who've really got the money and who are really wealthy don't really stress to prove anything to anybody because after everything, it is their life and by the way, nothing impresses them anymore. They've got it all. But you see, those people who constantly strain to appear in a certain way, to give a certain impression about themselves, most times they are what we call in Africa empty vessels yeah it's said in africa that most times empty vessels make the most noise and also we commonly say in africa that seasoning cubes are the ones that do advert and salt doesn't need to do any advert that goes to say that salt which is mostly used than seasoning cube knows its value and it doesn't need to 
to advertise. But the sitting cube that is struggling to make their way into some pots of soups is the one struggling to advertise itself because it needs customers, right? Now, go get us. Please do well to thumbs up this video if you like it and make sure to share it with your loved ones now. Let's assume you found yourself maybe guilty of 60 to 70% of the things I cited. Let me tell you how to go about it and stabilize your financial situation as soon as possible. So this is what you're going to be doing. If you are heavily indebted, the first thing you're going to be doing is to embark on the payment of your debts as fast as possible. Take it as a priority. Let paying of debts every end of month be at the top of your list, all right? If you had planned to be paying 20% of your debt every month, take it up to 30, 40, or even 50%. Why not? Because the earlier you pay off your debts, the earlier you become free and regain back some level of freedom. I know it's not easy, all right? But that's the sacrifice you need to make in order to bounce back strong. So thereby, you would need to cut down on most expenses, all right? Review your expenses. Always have a list, a scale of preference, like I said earlier. Study your list and see which item there is less important and cut it out fast. Spend only on essentials like food, housing, and health. Avoid impulsive spending, all right? Like I said, this is something I used to be guilty of because I used to spend impulsively without thinking, but I've worked on it and it has saved me a lot, honestly. So there's no other secret than drastically cutting down on expenses, all right? That's the main solution. I know it's not easy, but you have to do it, all right? It is said that no pain, no gain. Would you rather endure a little pain now and enjoy in future? Or would you rather stay in your short-lived or imaginary enjoyment now and face bigger trouble in future? Because the truth is, if you are living beyond your means, sooner or later, it is going to catch up with you. So why not make the adjustments now? It is said it's better to make hay while the sun shines. So another tip that I have for you that could help you save up some money is that those things that you love that would you would love maybe to buy that are not really essentials or even essentials, try as much as possible to buy from sales or there are certain periods in the year that people always do promotions of their products. Target those places and buy when the promotions are up, all right? That's a good way for you to save up on expenses. The last but not the least thing you need to do is to make sure that you set financial goals for yourself towards investments. You know on this channel we encourage you to invest in a business that could bring you extra cash. So in order for you to do that, you would need to save up for it, all right? You will need to have a clear goal towards which you are working. So goal getters, if in this 2024 you apply these things I just said, you are going to be coming out of debt in no time and you are going to regain back your sanity. There's no good feeling as being debt free, all right? Once you are debt free and you've got financial freedom or better still financial independence as we preach on this channel, you are going to be enjoying this life in another dimension. So living within your means should be one of your main objectives this 2024, all right? When you live within your means, go get us. You could be capable of then buying what you want without stressing. And you could also help others. You know, in Africa, we have this culture of help helping our siblings, helping our parents. So this is something you are going to be capable of doing if you live within your means. Which other life is more beautiful than living a relaxed life? A life where you could sleep well and not bother about someone calling maybe to pressure you for a loan repayment and so on and so forth. So go get us. I hope you've done the review alongside. So take out time to cross check and see where you are guilty and where you've actually been doing well so that you can congratulate congratulate yourself and also keep up with the same spirit. That said, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.